All right, Pisces, let's get into a reading. So, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was done. I'm like, I'm done for the day. Went and put me on a sweatshirt. I was going to chill, watch me some TV. And spirit tends to talk to me in my head or sometimes I can actually hear them. And I heard, no, you're not. And I was like, no, I am. I'm done. Like, I'm done. I've done plenty today. And then I seen, I don't know if you guys have seen this on like TikTok or Instagram, but it's a reel where they go, I'm tired of this grandpa. Well, that's too damn bad. Like, that's what I heard. And I'm like, so what could you possibly need to know that I've not already got out today in the readings that I just done? So let's see what that is. Friendly reminder, channel members and Patreon members get to see all readings first. Patreon members also get bonus readings, passionate readings and things like that. <clears throat> I have a funny story. If you guys do not want to hear it, you can just go ahead and skip right over it. But as I'm shuffling, I, um, I tend not to tell people what I do for a job, mainly because they either judge me and ghost. I mean, any, any like business partnerships, when I hire people, I don't tend to tell people what I do for work unless they ask me. So I have a mowing service and he has mowed for me for some time and he did not know what I did for a living. And he asked me the other day and I was like, um, do you want me to really tell you? Like, I mean, I don't care to tell you, but if you ghost me, I'm going to feel a certain type of way. So I told him what I did for a living and he was like, that's really crazy. I need, like, what do you pick up on me? And I'm like, okay, um, just to let you know, your tire's probably going to blow out, so you need to get new tires. And he's like, okay. And I, th I think it was random because I think he expected something different. And we went about our merry little business. A few days ago, he came to mow. He comes every week. And as soon as he pulled up, he looked straight at me. And I was like, hey, how are you? I go to pay. And he goes, you see that? And I said, do I see what? And he goes, do you see that? And I looked. And I was like, tires? And he goes, yeah, my tire blew out. And I was like, I mean, I did tell you. And he goes, I know. But my tire blew out. And I was like, I mean, people tend to not believe me. So, I get it. I think I'm crazy sometimes too. But it was so funny because I really think that he thought I was crazy until I told him your tire's going to blow out. And then it did while he was driving down the four lanes. So, very interesting. I figured I'd share that with you. So, there could be something here coming in this story where maybe the person that's about to come in underestimated you or really thought that you were, I don't want to say lying, but you're not who you say that you are. And I think this person with truth coming out, as I was saying all this, is seeing a new perspective. This person is seeing the truth. The truth is, is that you're honest. Whether people believe you or not, you're honest. And that's what I got from that story is I tell people what I do for a living, but nine times out of 10, people think I'm crazy when I tell them that I'm psychic. My daughter's teachers do, people in my life do, until something happens. And then they're like, you ain't crazy, are you? No, I'm not. I mean, kind of, but no. <laughs> Let's get more. I feel like this person could be keeping an eye on you. If you have been recently pursuing a passion, whether this is a passion project, a passion hobby, a person, there's going to be growth and opportunities coming from that as long as you take inspired act action. You know, this could even be like risks. Let's say that you're in a dynamic or again, it's a passion project or a hobby. You could be like, eh, it's risky, but something's telling you to do it and you're going to get growth. Okay. So this is going to be a love reading. There is someone connected to you in love where this person isn't feeling really hopeful right now because they feel like they've missed an opportunity with you. This person's feeling really lonely. This person is feeling called. I just heard it's been a long time since I've seen your face. I knew we'd get together another time, another place. So it could have been a while since you've seen this person or you've talked to this person. Um, 
this person is recognizing that they have some sense of sincere feelings for you. They also feel very protective over you as well. This person's feeling called to reach out to you. They've been getting a lot of downloads and the downloads are telling them, hey, you need to reach out to Pisces. This person's focus here recently could have been a new life, could have been a fresh start. This person could be in a place where they're finally healing after what felt like a crisis. So this person could have went through something in their life that felt like a crisis. Now for each of us, that's gonna be different. That could mean getting kicked out of your home. That is a crisis. If you get evicted or you get foreclosed on, um, it could be losing a parent that is a sense of stability in your life. It could be getting divorced. It could be separating. Let's say that you've been with somebody for five years and you separate. Some of us, detach in the relationship and it's not so hard when you're out of it but some of us don't and that could feel like a, a sense of a crisis because it's like you know what i don't know what life is supposed to be i don't know who i'm supposed to be so this person is at a place where they're like you know what it's time for me to pursue what i'm feeling so passionate about this person's wanting to be honest with you This person could have been preparing for this since springtime. So this person right now is contemplating. They're feeling really guilty. They're wanting to speak their heart to you. They're wanting to give you a confession. For some of you, this confession includes an apology where they're going to ask for your forgiveness. Now, for some of you, asking for your forgiveness is simply saying, I didn't protect you. I didn't love you. I didn't care for you the way that I should. And I have been feeling really lonely. I have been feeling discontent. I have been feeling like I've missed this opportunity. And I'm recognizing that that is the worst feeling that I could ever feel. Please, 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 can I renew this? Can we have something here? Some of you are going to get a text message from this person. And when you get a text message from this person, your phone's not going to be on loud, but it's going to be on vibrate. Because I just put my hand like right here or, or right here or, or somewhere right here. And I could feel a vibrating motion. Now, there is nothing on my table. Nothing. Okay? So, someone is wanting to give you a truth. And I feel that this person has been thinking about giving you this truth since springtime. So, for me, when I think of spring in the U.S., it's going to be different than other places. But look, time frame, I'm going to kind of give you a time frame. For me, when I think of spring, I think of March and April. So around March and April, March or April this year, this person could have been like, oh my God, I need to speak a truth. But in the past few months, they could have been preparing, planting seeds, working hard, figuring out what that looks like, getting a clear plan on the action that they're gonna take and even allowing maybe more of a new perspective to come in. I keep hearing, well, it's been a long time since I've seen your face. Well, it's been a long time since I've seen your face. Well, it's been a long time since I've seen your face. I knew we'd get together another time, another place. So this person could be thinking about reaching out to you, but they know that talking to you either face-to-face -face or on a phone call is going to be the most appropriate plan of action. Give me a call. That could even be better. It could be on a Saturday that this person does it. Because I find it interesting. I'm pretty sure Saturdays are football days. Isn't that? I find it interesting that I went and put on my football sweater. This is the sweater I wear when I'm laying on a couch and we watching football or chilling or whatever. So, this person could like football, this person could play football, this person could reach out to you during a football game. Pretty sure they're on Saturdays, so it could be a Saturday. This person is the epitome of strength and protective energy. They're coming up as a masculine. They don't have to be a masculine, they can be a feminine, because I show up as a masculine a lot of times. But it could just be someone who it's like, I'm protective over mine. When I got mine, I got mine. Okay, what they're showing me, I watched Jersey Shore. 
And if you've ever seen that show, there's someone in it named Polly D. And he is more of a chill, calm person. He don't get mad. He doesn't really get in the drama. But he has met someone. Her name is Nikki. And y'all, when I tell you he broke down a door for her, I ain't even kidding. Someone did something to her and she was trying to get through the door and she couldn't get through the door. So he's like, hold on, honey. And he busted open the door and he said, I've always been taught to open a door for a lady. That's how protective I'm getting that this person is over you. There's a very protective energy that comes off from this person. Like when you're mine, you're mine. And when, when I say that, I mean all of it. Like I'm probably going to fight people over you. If someone disrespects you, guess what? They got me to deal with. And it could be a little bit of like out of character for this person. It could even have other people being like, whoa, we're not used to seeing this side of you. You must really care. You must really like this person because you don't get like this. Very interesting. So some of you are going to get an apology from this person. They're going to ask for forgiveness because they're feeling guilty. Now, for some of you, this person could have felt guilty because they couldn't decide whether they should stay or go. Should I, should I change my life? Should we do this? And the lack of action made you feel a type of way that they don't want you to feel. Give me more. Nostalgic. Stuck in the past. Haunted by the memories. Feeling like they need to respond or take some sort of action. Wanting... Okay, so someone here is wanting to court, trying to keep the hope alive. Someone here could have recently placed a boundary. You could have blocked this person off or you could have cut off contact. Someone here is holding very firm in their, in their spot, in their space. Someone here is wanting to plan a future. And because one person's wanting to plan a future, it could have resulted in them placing boundaries, okay? Again, some of you here in the past few months could have done something because you didn't know that this person was planning, was, was preparing. Again, it could have been cut off contact. You could have changed your number. You could have blocked. But this person does envision a future with you. And they're taking steps towards that. But for some reason, it's like you don't know about it. That's weird. That's odd. Like, why do you not know about what they're doing? It could also be raining the day that they approach you. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a there's an out in the cold lack energy. It could have been them feeling lack in some sense, form, or fashion, whether it's resources, whether it's a mental state. It's like they knew that they needed to work on something, so they're doing that, but they didn't voice this to you. They could have not voiced this to you because maybe you're going to leave me out in the cold. Maybe you're not going to be patient. Maybe you're going to take it as a, no, 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 something's wrong with you, not with me. This could be something as simple as this person wanted to have the conversation of, it's not you, it's me. But you would have took it as, uh, yeah, I bet it's not you, it's me. Yeah, okay. Like, they're scared that you're going to... I mean, here's the thing. They already feel like they've missed this opportunity. And I feel like that was their fear. I don't want to feel like I've missed this opportunity. But I already feel that way. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. It's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, so how do they think that they're going to be able to fix it now? So, they are holding back on conversations because they're unsure... So they're holding back on a conversation because someone has decided to hold their space or cut off con conflict, contact. That could have resulted in conflict. This person wants to communicate with you that they're trying to do what they need to do for a new beginning to come forth. But again, if they feel like you're getting further away, it's getting to a point where they're like, why am I even doing this? I mean, I understand why, but... The point, the purpose, the reason was to invest with you. Okay. Are you... Are, so, I feel like this person could be talking to other people. 
telling them about their feelings, telling them about you, trying to get advice, trying to get inside, kind of like inside answers, inside clarity. Like, what, what do you think? What do you think I should do? What do you, do you think I've missed the opportunity? Do you think I'm just not seeing something clearly? I feel like this person is using other people or someone specifically as a soundboard. Okay, and what that person's telling them is, yo, you need to go up in there and you need to offer some. You need to be like, yo, mm -mm, listen, 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 listen. We need to try this. We need to see where this can go. You need to go in there and you need to offer something. You need to say, hey, listen, I can't get out of the past. I feel like I missed an opportunity. This is what I need to do. So whoever they're talking to is saying, you fool, <laughs> you need to go in and say all this. What, what is holding you back? You need to go in and you need to say, hey, listen, I want a reunion. I miss the way that I felt with you. And this is what I'm willing to offer. This is what I have. This is what I'm hoping I'm going to have in the future. This is what I want to offer you. This is what I envision it to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Being that authentic, though, could get them very like... <coughs> Because I find it interesting that at that one moment, I all of a sudden swallowed too much air and I can't really. So it could be very hard for this person to come in and be that authentic, to voice what they want, what they're feeling. There could also be a lot that's unknown that makes this person worried. Okay, what else is this person telling them? The soundboard, what is that person telling them? Go in with some sort of an apology. Go in and say, hey, listen, I'm sorry for A, B, C, or D. And tell them how you're feeling. The Page of Cups is that energy of, I love you. Do you know how, how much you mean to me? This energy's come up for me in my life when I have a bond with someone and we both feel the same thing. So let's use like a friend for an example for me. Like when I have those friendships where we're both feeling like I am so blessed to have you, like I love you so much. That's the energy I'm getting is the page of cups. I'm sorry for being a pain to deal with because I know I might be hard to love, but I want you to know that I do thank God every day for bringing you to me. That's the page of cups to me, okay? So it's like someone's telling them and all of this is cups. So whoever they're talking to and using them as a soundboard is saying, it's honestly simple. Why are you not going in with love and saying, this is what I have to offer. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I want. This is what I miss. I want a reunion. Come in with all the emotion, all the love, put it on the line. Tell them this has defeated me, but I'm not willing to give up. And then allow them to choose what they want to do. Allow them to then reevaluate with their boundaries and see whether or not there can be growth here. So someone's telling them, hey, you need to give Pisces the opportunity to show you whether or not they want you. Why are you chalking it up as a missed opportunity? They don't know how you're feeling. They don't know what you want. They don't know that you've been somebody's been making changes without you knowing because they envision a future and they're taking steps towards that. When I think of a perfect partner, I think of you. I feel the same for you that you feel for me. You're healing a side of me that I thought would never heal. Every time I'm around you or I talk to you, I want more. It's never enough. This person's feeling burdened by the inability to get to a place of peace, to get to calm waters. This person could need to even voice that to you. Every time I'm around you, every time I talk to you, you don't know how much I, I just need more. Again, let's take it back to the friendships. If we use me as an example in this, I think about my friends where I'm like, listen, I will come over here every day if you just tell me to. Just give me a key. 
I'm gonna practically move in. Like that's the kind of friend I am. If I'm in deep, I'm in deep and it takes something bad for me to, to quit that connection with you. But that's what I'm getting. It's like this person needs to come in in that form or that fashion where it's like, no, I'm in deep, I'm in deep. Like, let's get to a place of peace. I love you, you love me. There's happiness here that we both feel like, when you two are together, you laugh so hard that there's tears. Like your jaws are hurting. Now tell me how many people down below in the comments that you've met that can make you laugh like that, that can make you that happy. I can name three off the top of my head for me. Three, that's it. Out of everyone I've ever met, I can make, I can, three, that on a consistent basis, there is laughing so hard that we've got a headache, our jaws are hurting, we're crying, and there's just this overwhelming love and joy and fulfillment and just emotion because you know at that moment I've got you, you've got me, and we're both feeling the same way right now. And it's beautiful. And that's kind of, that's what I'm getting here. And I feel like intuitively you know that when this person is in your energy, it's something that they don't want to end. They don't want that to end. 21, 21, as I said that. 21, can you do something for me? Okay, somebody could be listening to that. I don't want to know if you bring me to keep me. There's three majors here as we're wrapping this up. So there has been an energetic shift that the universe has brought in recently. And the energetic shift is that it's time for someone to come in and finally make the choice that they've been manifesting so long. It's like this person's been manifesting, being able to make a choice from love. I wanna choose what I wanna choose. And I wanna choose this loving connection. It's been a long time coming. This person could have even felt like you guys were better apart. But now this person's wanting to come in, in divine timing, and choose what they feel they should have chose all along. And it's because they've been manifesting this. But they are scared that although they've been energetically manifesting, it's like hoping, wishing, praying for a second opportunity, praying that they could just get one more chance and this wouldn't be a missed opportunity. They have to be willing to take the action for that manifestation to come fourth. And I think that's where that third person's coming in, the person that they're talking to. I don't know if this is family or friends, but they're talking to this person and telling them how they're feeling. And, you know, what should I do? Do you think that I'm just crazy? Do you think I've missed my opportunity? Do you think that this person's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? And again, that person's saying, just go in and with, just go in with love. Like what? I don't, it's not that complicated. I feel like the worst thing here would be you to miss this opportunity because you already feel that way. So why not just go ahead and go in and be like, listen, I need my opportunity to say this. It's okay if it don't work the way that I want it to, but at least it won't be heavy on my heart and I can just keep it going. And I think that is that manifestation power coming forth. It's like this person wants it so bad that the universe knows, hey, we're going to have to help you. So we're gonna push this person in here and we're gonna get this person to tell you what you need to hear because maybe this person's having a hard time listening to their intuition right now. And that's okay, some of us do. But this person does stay a lot in the memories with you. I've been fantasizing about you in the future that we could build together. I've been talking to my family and friends about you. I told you. I'm hearing Lizzo. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental metal woman to pump me up. Feeling fussy, walking in my fussy knees, trying to put that you thus. Somebody could listen to Lizzo. I'm gonna need my two shots in my cup. When this person comes towards you, somebody could be like, okay, wait, we need shots real quick before we have this conversation. Now, here's the thing. All of you might not resonate with that. Some of you might be in the comments like, well, they're an alcoholic. They can't drink. Well, I don't drink. That's fine. But some of you are going to be like, hold on a second. Uh, let's get a shot or two in us before we have this conversation. And I think that's going to help for some of you. So very interesting. This person's talking about you to others. They're telling them how they're feeling. I really do think that it's going to help this person 
person get the courage to come towards you and to put it all on the line. My phone just said Thursday on it. That was super random, but an app just sent me a, a thingy my bobber and it said Thursday, really big letters. So this person for some of you could reach out on Thursday or Thursday could be when they have this conversation and they take action by Saturday, okay? For each of you, it's gonna be different. Of course, this is a general reading. It's not a personal, but you can expect this person to be coming in towards you. This is amazing. Okay. I'm going to leave this here. Have a blessed day.